Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode right here on V-City. My name is Peter Ojum and here we're going to be going over Carleton University. Now I'm going to give you some information about the weather, about the tuition, etc. And then I'll go on to tell you about the things you need to know about this university. Now let's get right into it. First and foremost, Carleton University is a comprehensive university located in Ottawa, which is located in Ontario, which is located in Canada. Now, for the weather, Ottawa summers are long, warm, partly cloudy, and I would even go on to say it can be pretty. But the winters are freezing. It's really, really cold, really, really snowy, and mostly cloudy. Basically, over the entire year, the temperature varies from 6 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And it can also go down to negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit sometimes, which can be brutal. But sometimes it can go all the way to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, when it comes to admission, the undergraduate admission requirements vary by your academic program. The regular faculty norms are around the B plus range. My point here is you need to have good grades and they don't accept everybody the way some universities do. At the postgraduate level, admission requirements also vary depending on your program and the university provides significant support to support students with finances and funding so that they can complete their programs of study and research. In general, the acceptance rate is moderately difficult and the admissions rate is about 20 to 30 percent. This makes this school a pretty selective institution. Now let's move on to the fees and tuition by this university. So basically if you want to get into this university and you are a domestic student, it's pretty pretty straightforward. It's just like many other universities in Canada. You have to pay around $6,000 all the way to $10,000 if you're Canadian. Okay, but that, that's to say it depends on your program. Some programs cost more, for example, engineering is a lot more expensive. And then if you're a graduate and you want to pay your tuition fees as a Canadian student, your graduate fees is around $5,000 to $6,000, so it's not too much. And I'm right here, I'm not talking about your housing, I'm just talking about the tuition fees. Now, if you're an international student, you have it coming for you. For international students, your undergraduate tuition fees go from $24,000 all the way to $28,000. And if you're a graduate student and you have to pay your tuition fees and you're not being funded by the school, then your fees go from $13,000 all the way to $14,000. All right, let's move on to things you need to know about Carleton University. The university is represented in U Sports by the Carleton Ravens, whose men's basketball team has won seven straight national titles from 2011 to 2017, 13 of 15 championships dating back to 2003. This school's basketball team is pretty much unstoppable. Their name rings throughout Canada when it comes to basketball. I have seen them play and it is amazing. The next thing to know about this school that I personally like is that there's an extensive system of underground tunnels that links all the buildings of the campus such that members of the university do not need to walk outside when traveling across campus. And oh my goodness, it is perfect for winter time because it, sometimes the snow and the cold can be so brutal that underground tunnels just make you feel like they have saved your life. Now. Carlton has 11 student residences, so they don't run out of residence too quickly. Each is either a traditional dorm or sometimes it can even be a suite style residence. Now let's move on to some things people say about the campus. He said, I love the campus. I didn't feel cramped. There were lots of green space and felt like its own community separate from the university. And I felt very welcome there. You see, that's one thing I love about universities that have their own campus, with their own green space. Students can study under trees, students can take walks, because education can be difficult sometimes, and these little things can help a child learn better. Something someone else said is, I hated the tunnel dwellers, also known as residence kids, but that's mostly just because I can't stand the people who would roll into class late, still wearing pajamas. I can relate to this, but I don't hate them, I just find it funny that People wake up in the morning and just rush to class in their pajamas. It's funny to me. Just leave it like that. Next thing someone said is, I have an undergrad and two master's degrees across four universities and Carleton admin is absolutely fantastic. 
If there's something in Carlton that people praise so much is the administration. They are kind and they care for you. A lot of them tend to know you by name by the time you show up multiple times. And people don't have to go through so much hassle to get things done because the admin is swift and efficient. So another person said, I did two degrees at Carlton. It has a vibrant campus community with tons of clubs and activities to get involved with. The campus itself is beautiful compared to the ugly concrete that U Ottawa is comprised of since it has lots of green space and it's right next to the river. Ladies and gentlemen, this is great because I also love a vibrant campus where people are studying and laughing and working and I also love the fact that the campus is actually beautiful, it's green and beautiful for you to behold. Now a lot of the people who talk about Carleton University usually compare it to U Ottawa. They kind of go butt back to back, head to head in some type of competition. And in terms of the rankings, U Ottawa tends to come out on top, but in terms of how you're welcomed, how you feel, how comfortable you feel, your satisfaction level, Carlton takes the cup, Carlton takes the win. Because at U Ottawa, a lot of people tend to complain about the horrible administration. I have not visited that school yet, so I cannot say that for a fact, but trust me, there's usually truth when a whole lot of students are complaining about one thing. But Carlton has proven itself to make students feel comfortable and satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode on Carlton University. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Let us know other universities across the world that you would like us to do for you because we want to ensure that you have the best education and the best career in your lifetime. Have yourself a wonderful day. Hit us up on Instagram and we appreciate your time.